Software Spring Presence How to use Subtotal in Google Sheets Hi folks! Greetings! Welcome to this tutorial on the Subtotal function. Here's an intro to Subtotal. Subtotal returns the subtotal for a range of cells in one or more columns based on the specified aggregation function code. As examples, here are three aggregation functions, and their corresponding codes. I will list the other aggregation functions and their codes, in just a while. Using only the subtotal function, you can get data like average, maximum, minimum, standard deviation, and sum. Moving forward, let's look at the format of the subtotal function formula. Here's an example. Function code is the code that represents a particular function. The function code 1 represents the average function. Here are the other functions and their corresponding codes. Range 1 is the first vertical range of cells with numbers for which you want to apply a subtotal function. Range 2 and subsequent ranges are optional. All right. Here is an objective of using the subtotal function. To calculate the sum, average, maximum, and minimum, of the store revenues. OK, create a table with the desired function codes. Let's begin by typing the subtotal function formula, to calculate the sum. First, type equal to, S, U, B. Select subtotal. For the sum function code, click this cell. Type comma. For range 1, select this range. Let's make this address absolute, so when we copy the formula, the address does not change. Select this address. Press F4. Press Enter. To get the average, maximum, and minimum revenue of the stores, we need to simply copy the formula, across these cells. Click this cell. Drag this handle across these cells. Deselect. Let's take a look at the formula in this cell. Only the function code has changed. The address has not changed, because we made it absolute. That's it folks. Thank you for watching this video. Please subscribe to this channel.